Rachel is with us in Indiana. Hey, Rachel. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey hey. Show. Thank you. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? So I was hoping to get your advice on something. So I took financial peace about a year ago, um, and I tried to get my husband to go, but, you know, he wouldn't go. So he doesn't really understand uh, where I'm coming from when I'm trying to take the appropriate steps to, you know, complete all the baby steps. Of course. And he keeps, yeah, he keeps trying to, like, take out car loans and, like, boat loans. And by car, I mean, like, a truck to pull the boat, you know. And I'm like, we're on completely different pages. And um, we do have um, student loans, so I'm just trying to, like, take the appropriate steps. But I don't really know what approach to take. Um, like, you know, and so, like, we're, like, getting arguments about it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How, how old are you guys? Um, I'm 28, and he is 29. How long have you been married? Going on 10 years now. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, well, this is why we generally recommend that you not go to Financial Peace University unless your spouse will go with you because it causes more oh, okay. pro- it causes more problems, not less. <laughs> um, sure. Because what's happened is, is you've gotten some very definite financial information and goals and they conf- yeah. they conflict with his uh, his impulsive and childish spending. Okay. Right. Correct. Yeah. So you're starting to feel like the mommy. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Yeah. And the li- the little boy's whining because he can't buy a toy. You are correct. Because <laughs> mommy won't go along with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's that's a, a a very dangerous place for y'all's relationship to get into. Are you guys in a good church? Um, I am. Um, just trying to get him uh, to go is uh, a work in progress. Yeah. So. So there's a whole lot of stuff you do he doesn't do, and a whole lot of stuff he does you don't do. Um. Yeah. yeah. It, it's more so like I'm doing it and he doesn't do it. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. So. Um, unless something jolts him, I, uh, uh, I'm afraid as an old guy who's watched this happen a lot that you guys are not going to make it because you're going to reach the point that you're disgusted living with a little boy. (laughs) You're not yet. You still kind of think it's cute and you're still romantically in love and that's wonderful and I'm glad you are. But you're going to reach the point of frustration that you're tired of raising him if something yeah. doesn't happen. This is a real dangerous place for y'all. And I'm not trying to be mean to him, and I'm not trying to just be smart aleck or something like that. Um, I, I suspect if we've if the patterns continue, that if you were to go to a marriage counselor, he would not go. Yeah. Because he doesn't think there's any problems. But I would suggest um, that a marriage counselor would help you under help you help him understand that there's problems. So you need sure. to you need to contact your pastor and ask them for uh, a good Christian marriage counselor to meet with. Hopefully, your husband will go with you. Um, but there's a lot of things going on in your all's life that is that are not trending the right way. Let me tell you what I'm talking about, and I'll back up three steps, okay? Because I just threw some cold water uh-huh. on you, and I don't want to I want to leave you there. <laughs> But we know statistically that the research tells us that couples, before they get married, if they go to pre-marriage counseling, if they can agree on four things, they have a high probability of marital success. Every one of those four that drop out tell us that there's a high probability of lack of marital success, meaning divorce, okay? Number one is fights over money. It's the number one cause of divorce in North America today. Number two is religion. And so far, you're 0 for 2. <laughs> Number 3 is raising the kids. And whether to have kids and how many to have. Do you have kids? I do not. Okay. Are you all want to have kids? Um, maybe. We're not quite sure on that yet. Who wants to? Who does not? Uh, we both do. We're just... I actually just recently applied for dental school, so... If I get in, then that's another four years of schooling, mm. and then I just I don't want to have kids during gotcha. dental school. Okay. So. All right. And the last one is in laws, dealing with uh, yeah. dealing with crazy in your family, and there's crazy in every family. So, oh, um, yeah. 
You know, if you can get on the same page dealing with in-laws, kids, money, and religion, those four things are high indicators that you're going to have a high-quality, sustainable marriage. That's what the data tells us from all the research. And you guys have two, at least two of those missing. And that's what's, yeah. sca- that's what's scaring me for you. If you were my son-in-law and daughter, I would take you all out to dinner and very calmly tell you all these things in an effort to scare you to death so you go do something <laughs> about this before it blows up in your face. Yeah. So go see a marriage counselor, kiddo, and um, beg him to go with you. Because if you do not get to the bottom of this and you all do not get some common ground on this and some compromise on these issues, you're not going to make it in 10 years. It'd be just a minor, I mean, unless one of you is just dysfunctional and crazy and codependent, and then you can stay together. But that's not really staying together. That's someone's spirit left their body and left their body in the marriage. But I'm talking about a healthy marriage is not going to be two quality people functioning together. Um, you're not going to be there in 10 years because you're not heading there right now. And it's not anything to do with financial peace. It's not anything to do with Dave Ramsey. You're not in, in agreement on some of life's biggest issues. What money flows to tells us what you think is important. And religion, you know, what do we think about God? What do we think about eternity? These are These are important topics for the human being to be in agreement on when you're married. Hey, I hope that helps you. Uh, I think you can make it. I know you can turn it around. Poor Sharon married a guy just like that. So um, she, we got around it, but uh, it, it took a lot of bonking on my head, I'll tell you that.